In this video, I'll show you how to transform your Windows 11 Start menu from this to this. A cleaner, classic look with a modern design and perfectly suited for both light and dark mode. Head over to the OpenShell GitHub repository. You'll find it linked in the description below, along with all the other resources used in this video. Click on Releases. Then download the setup file for the latest version. Once the download is complete, open the installer. Click Next. Check this checkbox here, then click Next again. Now, pay attention. We don't need the Classic Explorer feature, so let's disable it to prevent OpenShell from installing it. Click on this icon and select this option right here. Click Next, then click Install to begin the installation. After installation, when you open the Start menu for the first time, the OpenShell settings will pop up. So you have to open the Start menu again to view it. Right now, this is the default OpenShell start menu theme, but don't worry, we're going to improve it. To achieve a clean and modern look, we'll use the Fluent Metro skin. Go to the Fluent Metro GitHub repository. Click on Releases and download the latest version. Next, head to this GitHub gist. Click on Download Zip. This file is containing my OpenShell settings. These settings will help us achieve the classic start menu look. Now, go to your Downloads folder. Right-click on the Fluent Metro ZIP file and select Extract All. Uncheck this option, then click Extract. Now extract the settings ZIP file. Next, open the Extracted Fluent Metro folder and copy these two files. Now head to this PC, C Drive, Program Files, Open Shell, Skins. Right-click and paste the skin files here. When prompted, check this option and click Continue. Now, go to Open Shell Settings. Go to the Skin section and select Fluent Metro from the drop-down menu. If you don't see it, close the Settings window. Right-click the Start Menu icon and select Settings. Now, Fluent Metro should appear in the list. Next, we'll apply the custom settings. Click on the Backup button at the bottom. Select Load from XML file. Navigate to your Downloads folder and open the Extracted Settings folder. Select MenuSettings.xml, then click Open. Click OK. A warning will appear, telling you to restart Open Shell. This happens because we just applied a skin and several custom settings. Click OK to confirm. Right-click the Start Menu icon and select Exit. Go to Open Shell folder in Program Files, then run startmenu.exe. Now, the Start Menu is getting closer to that look we are aiming for. Let's refine the appearance further. Right-click the Taskbar, then go to Taskbar Settings. Click on Taskbar Behaviors and change the Taskbar alignment to Left. Now, the Start Menu feels more natural and functional but it looks empty, so let's add our apps. You can easily pin your most used apps for quick access. Right-click any app, in my case, Microsoft Edge, and choose Pin to Start Menu. I'll also pin Thorium the same way. You can also search for apps. I'll search for Calculator and add it. Let's add Notepad as well. Now, the Start Menu looks more organized and functional. You can also hide or display these Start Menu items. Right-click the Start Menu icon and select Settings. Navigate to Customize Start Menu section. Here, you can enable or disable specific links based on your preference. For example, to hide the control panel, click here and choose Don't Display This Item. To show Windows tools, click here and select Display as a link. And as you can see, the changes apply instantly. You might notice two extra separators appearing randomly. This is a bug that happens every time you adjust menu items. To remove them, go back to Settings, find the separator item, and set it to Don't Display This Item. Do the same thing to the other separator item. Click OK, and the separators are hidden now. Additionally, Open Shell give you the ability to change the options showing in the shutdown menu. To do so, open Settings. 
check this option here, go to Main Menu. Scroll down to shut down command options. Here, you can customize which options appear in the list. For example, I will type shut down, comma, sleep. Now, only shut down and sleep are available. I'll also add switch, underscore user, and again, it's added as expected. That's it. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more Windows customization guides. See you in the next one.